Hello people of the internet. Well today I am going to look at these. Um, this is the hundred and no, it's a 240 pack of glitter gel pens but it's actually only 120 glitter gel pens and 120 glitter gel pen refills and it's from Shuttle Art. Now I did not particularly want to review these because way back in the very beginning of my colouring journey in this era I bought this pack of Shuttle Art uh, glitter gel pens and they were rubbish <laughs> and I sent them back and I then discovered the Chromatech and the Colour Technique ones and have never looked back but I get a lot of people keep asking me to review these ones. What do you think of the shuttle art? What do you think of the shuttle art? Have you ever tried the shuttle art? So I decided to bite the bullet, buy the biggest pack that they do and compare them. Now about two years ago I compared a lot of gel pens. Some really cheap ones from a local hobby shop in the UK, the castle art ones, uh, the Arteza ones, the old Arteza ones and they were all very similar and all made by the same company all the same shape barrels and everything and I have a feeling these are the same um, so let's let's give them a go anyway let's not shoot them down in flames before they've even given them a try because this is a different pack these ones were actually made on July the 26th 2021 I've actually got the date of manufacture on them there which is interesting isn't it so let's get them out what I've done it's created a swatch sheet, but I, I don't know what they are and what they're numbered, so it's just blank at the moment. Um, it is again in the, it's not in the evening, <laughs> it's in the middle of the afternoon, but it's dull outside, so I've got to have the lights on, so there's going to be a bit of a glare. So let's have a look how they come. Now these are supposed to be all glitter. So no pastels and neons and whatever. Okay, so, aha! So they come in, they've got a number one, oh yeah, number one, number two, number three, you can see them there. So these are all the number ones. So I'm assuming that with the refills, yeah, you can see the numbers there. There's the twos, there's the fours, there's the sixes. Okay, so then I guess it's, it's just a matter of sucking it and seeing, is it? Because there's no numbers or names or anything on them there's no grippy bit i mean these are exactly the same as the very cheap 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 ones that i get from hobbycraft i think it's 60 for a five or something i'll get one out so we can see so this is a hobbycraft pen and this is a shuttle arts pen so you can see the clip is the same, the body is the same, the end is pretty much the same. That one's actually got like a cross sort of thing in it. But other than that, ends are the same. Yeah, so this one's a lot, this one's. And, oh, tip wise, oh. The shuttle art, you are never going to see this, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, you maybe you can see it. That shuttle art tip, which is on the bottom, the left, is really a fine tip. The uh, one from Hobbycraft is a slightly broader ball in it, a bigger ball, as it were. So if I was to guess, I'd say this was an 8mm 0 0.8, and this was a 1 because they are, you can, can you just about see that they're different? I think you probably can just there. So this is going to be interesting. That probably means they're going to be quite scratchy, which is how I found them before to be scratchy. I'm going to leave that one out. That's the hobby craft one. Okay, does it actually say on here anything? No, it says nothing about them. All right, so. Let's just start doing a little bit of a, 
maybe what I'll do is I'll just put a set one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty in each set, so one to twenty. And let's get let's get boo 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 boo. This is actually number twenty really. This should start the other end. No, let's just do it this way. Actually, not, doesn't, that one didn't feel too bad. It actually felt quite... Ha, ha, ha. If I turn it that way, it is number one. <laughs> that, make, that makes me feel so much better. I've turned it round, so that's number one. Is that over the... It is. Okay. Let's do it that way. Okay, that one has not decided not to come to life. This is what I experienced before when I when I bought the shuttle art. Like they were very didn't want to play. This is number three, which is a nice green. A nice green which is not working. This one's number four is a brown. There, it's scratchy. Number five. That's not really worked, is it? Or is it just a really light gold? And it has worked. It is a light gold, but it's very scratchy. Number six. Okay, let's have a look at these in the light. So, they don't look too bad. There was a couple with a bit scratchy, a bit hard starty. And that silver one doesn't look too bad. It's got glitter in it rather than just being flat silver. Um, I'm just going to do one of these alongside it, this Hobbycraft one for the... Yeah, they are similar. They are similar. Right, let's get the next packet out. Okay, so I've taken the uh, the next one out, number two, which is interesting because these look more pastel or fluorescent than glitter. And I did buy these because it said 120 glitter. It's not one of the ones that's half metallic and half pastel and half neon which is what the other ones like this say so that's number three that's number four some of them look glittery some of them look metallic hmm. number five let's see when they've got some of them have got glittery caps and some of them have got plain caps and that's number six okay well let's a lot to swatch in to do, so I'd better get on with it. Shut up and swatch. Turn it over. Bring your deck down. Start with one again in this set, so this is set two. So number one.
Has it got glitter in it? Is it a neon glitter? Oh, it's a neon glitter. I should eat my words. It did not look glittery at all, but it is. Number nine. Interesting colour number 19. Sky blue. Sky blue gel pen. And number 20 is this sort of very scratchy these are. Silvery greeny colour. Right, let's have a look at those. Let's hold those up to the light. They do all have glitter in them. You can see the neony ones there. Number 18 did not want to work very well. Number 19, you can see it's really, they come out like they've, you know when you see a lot of the lines? I mean, if I get a chroma tech out, if I get one out of this set here, just for some comparison. So, they look very similar in the body, very similar in the body. Apart from they've got the slopey top, these don't, and they've got the, soft grip and it is a soft grip on the chromatech it's got a bit of give to it and oh, the ball is much bigger if i can get the ball just show oh, wow will you be able to see the difference in those balls how tiny and maybe like that you can Look, you can see the Chromatag one has got a big ball and that's got a really like almost needle tiny ball. If I do a swatch of one of these over here, let's do it up here, next to this Hobbycraft one. These are like comparative, they're like butter. You can float across the paper with those Chromatag ones. And if I get similar colour, I'm going to go with that green. It looks a bit like that green. Oh, one out of the first ones. The first one is a similar colour. We're going to see if we can float across the top like we did. I mean, you can feel it so much finer. It's most definitely a finer tip pen. can float a little bit, you've got to go slower. Let's have a look what those, those two look like. I mean, it's not bad. It's easier with the Chromatech though, because it's just got that bigger ball. They're not bad, you know, they wouldn't be too bad in a fine something where you need a really fine tip okay let's get the next one out they are a faff to get back in their little I don't know, troughs <laughs> once you put them in okay we're on to number three looks like a nice color that one so number one from number three again really scratchy we're going to some greens now Oh, I've not brought you down, have I? You're still all the way up there, sorry. Oh, that 
that's not what I was expecting from from that orangey lid I was not expecting that kind of purpley ink yeah, that is the wrong insert in that bar of things in fact the next one looks exactly the same number seven that's a bit lighter if you mix these up in a big pot or pencil case there'd be no way that you'd be able to know what set they was in to find the refills it'd really be stuck look at these and, oh let's go back to the white one I remember number 14 I'm not sure that's even working there we go here's now not much in it though Let's have a look at these. So it's from section three from this one down. And again, really quite sketchy. All right, this is number four, three down. Three to go. Make it round. And bring you down. It's like a grey. It's got a solid, it hasn't got a hole in the bottom like the others either. The others have a hole in the bottom. Ooh! Ooh, some have holes in the bottom and others don't. Dun dun dun! And this one has got a hole in the bottom. 13. It's definitely a khaki, khaki colour. Number 18, 18, 13, 14, I'm wishful thinking the, the numbers away there. That's a nice colour, that's similar to that colour isn't it? That first colour we used, it's like a rich colour though. Uh, 15, Scratchy Medina. 
There's a lot of different colours in this one though. There's some nice pastels. I mean, there's 120 colours, I think. If there is truly 15, 16, um, 120 different colours, it is the most colours I have ever had of all glitter. Because I've had 180. I think that's the biggest set I've ever had. 17. It's a shame that some of them sort of die out, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You can probably revive them and get them going again. I mean, the good thing is, is none of them have got any bubbles in them. They're all solidly filled up. Only two more trays after this. That's quite a nice colour, that. There's a proper lime green. colour order that they've put them in. Right, let's have a look up. Oops. These look like a, like a really earthy set. So again, all glitter. Look at that light blue one. They've got some nice colours. I just wish that they was a, a bigger ball, you know, a um a one millimetre ball kind of thing. So they was more juicy, but I guess you'd get through the ink quicker. Alright, let's get the Next one. Okay. Packet number five. Which end do I start normally? I usually start that end. Number five. Five. One. Oh, that's a shame because that looked like a really nice colour as well. And a nice green. Oops, sorry, you're too far up. Didn't, it didn't work. Number two. I'm going to have to have a go at these in one of my fine line mandala books. We'll do it on this video. Oh, that's scratchy. That is scratchy. The, you, you can feel that kind of railroading where the, it pushes the ink to one side. That's a nice, again, a nice sort of... Um, Parky, foresty green. I love the colours. These are nice colours. This one is really a struggle. It's like a grey colour. That's a nice green. That's a nice foresty green. Leaves and things. I wish I could mix these up in, in in one thing, but I don't know how I would ever remember what set that they came from for their refills, if I was to do that. The problem with the light ones, they're so light, I can't tell whether they're just light or not working. Hold these up to the sun, of which there is none, so number one didn't really work at all. Two, three, four, five was a nice colour but a bit patchy. Thirteen, they're all a bit patchy there. Not bad colours, you can see these ones were really um, fluorescent. Okay, last ones, let's write down number six and get number six out. Okay, last set, number six. Seems to be a lot of yellows in this one. And a couple of pale pinks. So, 
Here we go, number six. Number six, number one. <laughs> Set six, number one. This one looks like a really very wing pastel pink colour, like just iridescent. It's a nice golden yellow, it looks very similar to one of the ones we had earlier in the day though. <laughs> earlier in the day, like it was hours ago, it feels like it. Looks like a very similar colour to this chromatic one. They do look the same, don't they? Yes, they do. Interesting. Nice natural green colour. So scratchy though. The problem with these, I don't know if I could use them in a colouring book. I think I've already said that at the beginning, four hours ago, when I started this labour of love. That's a very unnatural green. 17. This looks like a nice green. Ugh. It is a nice green, it's just very scratchy. I'm gonna have to get my other swatches out. Two more to go! 19. Uh, come on, because you're a nice green, I wanna see what you look like. This last one. I don't know. Also, olive brownie. Oh, there you go. It's a brownie colour. And, uh, come on, you can do it. Oh. Le Pew. So, it's from that number six down. You can see I had a fight with a couple of these ones. Mm, there you go. You can see that they are glittery. And down the bottom there. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things now. I'm going to get my swatch book out and compare these, this range <laughs> with my other uh, glitter gel pens and then I'm going to try them in a colouring book. So let me just get my swatch book. Right, what have we got in my swatch book for glitter gel pens? Okay, are we going to see any of these? We've got the RT-0 Original 60, <sighs> couldn't tell you to be honest. That one come with them horrible metallic, I only really had those glitters. Uh, let's bring you down a little bit, see what you can see. I mean, there's a lot of colours in this set. You've got to find one with a lot of colours that are all glitter. That's the tan mitt, I struggled with the tan mitt. But they were... Similar colours, wasn't they? Yeah, they are. That's, I mean, obviously, there's only a certain number of colours that you can have. But all those yellows, similar to those yellows, but they've got names. 
And there's that pastel blue is similar to that pastel blue all the way up there. Oh, how many was in that? There was 80 in that. Uh, and then the doodlers. They were 60. Where's the... Um, Chromatech and the that's it, colour technique. That's a set of AE. Angle it so we can't see the. Oh, yeah, they are similar. Oh, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's some nice greens in these colour technique. There are some nice greens there as well, aren't there? And that is similar to that, and that is similar to that, I guess, maybe. Hmm. All right, let's try them in a colouring book. That's the most important thing. I'm going to try them in my favourite colouring book for using glitter markers. It is this book, Fairies in Dreamland. So let us find... I'll do some fairy wings with that sort of pearly pink one. I'll get two of those. Now my head may get in the way. I would do my best for it to not. I still feel scratchy in this book. That comes up there. Hmm. Let's try the bit that just looks like iridescence. They're not bad in this book. They're nice and fine, so you don't go over the edge. Oops. So you can see, actually they're nice in this book, aren't they? Mmm, I'm quite enjoying the fineness of them. Let's do um. They are scratchy though. I feel this is now sort of becoming a bit of a. You know, it feels like it's going to stop. It feels like I'm forcing it along. Not getting the nice floating feeling. Let's so have a look at this. The iridescent one doesn't look too bad, but the pink looks patchy. I want to kind of go over the pink to make it look less patchy, I suppose. Bring it together a little bit more. Too bad. Hmm. Oops, sorry, taking you out of frame. Alright, I'll show you what my other pens look like in this book. I need to put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Is um, so, these are all done. This is done with Chromatech colour technique. You can see it came out beautiful. Which is the effect I like when I'm using glitter gel pens. And this was so easy to colour, so enjoyable to colour. This one doesn't feel quite so as enjoyable, but they are finer, which is easier to get into the finer details. I'm going to go and finish that and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've finished off the rings for Miss Candy's Traps. 
Those candy stripe wings, they don't look too bad. I mean, they glitter nicely. They look a bit liney. You know, I'm going to just do one flower here with my chromatex, I think, just to remind me what the chromatex like. I'm going to get two colours. Bit of blending. Let's bring you down. Bring you down. Okay. Do the dark in the middle and then Nice, I should get a nice season. A bit of dark in the middle. And then down. It's just so much better flowing. It's the big, the bigger uh, ball in the point. It's just so nice. Well, I hold that. nice it's not terrible that's at the end of the day they're not terrible how much did I pay for them let me go and check I paid 24.99 or 240 pens so that is about 10p a pen isn't it I think that's what it works out let me just look at these color shades again I mean, there is a lot of greens which I kind of like a lot of pinks no, a lot of pinks, a lot of yellows. Hmm. Let's try one of these greens, number 19. 19. Well, the one before, the one before the end of the last set, because I don't really have any numbers on them. Let's do one of my favourite things, one of these springy vines, and see how they work on the springy vines. Let's be real, I'm just enjoying doing a bit of colouring. Under the guise of testing these pens, I have to get you closer so that I can't fit my head underneath. See, this one's juicy. Oh, did you just hear my stomach rumble? No, oh, and again. Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. It's because it's very much approaching dinner time. This is a nice colour. Oh, I'm off that totally off the screen now. Brought it nearer to, brought it nearer to me eyes. That's my problem. It's one of the reasons why I don't really do colouring chats because I have to get it right under my nose and I can't have the camera there at the same time. Oops. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, see that was alright, wasn't it? That weren't too bad. That was juicy. I don't mind these. I think for the finer details... Ooh! You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try one of my really fine detail mandala books. Okay, that'll be one of these. Ooh, shouldn't have closed that. That's going to be a bit wet, isn't it? Ooh, it's bringing you all the way up there. Let's find a really fine line one in this. Actually, that one will do. Tuck you under there. Let's use a random one. I didn't think I was going to like these because of the fine tipness of them. Let's get... Right, this is set five. Set five. Oh, number one didn't work. But let's get two and three. Yeah. yeah, I'm still not sure if I do like them. Let's get two and three. 
they look sort of right they'll sort of go together let's see how this let's see how this plays out shall we ah, which one was the darkest one that one right, let's take the glasses off again get you nearer than me so that I don't get in your way okay they're nice on this paper they are nice on this paper sorry that's my head that is my head <laughs> doesn't look so good on the uh, on the camera because I can't see the gaps on the camera in real life you're nearer than me the dark one, that's the light one. Sorry, you're going to hear me going <gasps> breathing right under the. Oh, they smooth on this. Not, you can hear, not a noise. <laughs> you can hear, not a noise. They're all right, aren't they? Paper is everything. That looks nice. Let's put the lids on. I didn't think I would like these. I'm enjoying them more than I thought I would. There you go. Now I want to finish this whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave that open for a little while. And that was me playing with these. The Shuttle Heart, Shuttle Heart. <laughs> the Shuttle Art Glitter 240 pack. Um, they're finer. They have a finer ballpoint than the other pens. Um, but there's no bad thing. And they are all glitter. I didn't think they were going to be when I opened them. I didn't think they were going to be. So if you're in the market for some finer tipped glitter gel pens. I mean, you saw. You saw me watching them. Some of them didn't, you know need probably a little bit of a kickstart but they were all glitter it's just how am I going to file them away so that I can match the Ugis with the Wattsits hmm anyway the, the refills with the pens <laughs> maybe I'll have to put what number around them that the set they're in hmm anyway thanks for very much for watching everyone I'm going to go off and finish the rest of that colouring now take care everyone Bye.